I got an email uh, with an interesting question. This is uh, somebody with a good size airplane and they had set it up with only one servo on the elevator but then I guess they decided to add a second servo to the elevator. I, I know it was a fast flying airplane and what they did is that they actually uh, they plugged in the second servo into the rudder channel and then they told the transmitter that they had a V-tail okay? and so what ended up happening is that it was still working fine as, a, as an elevator but moving this, the rudder stick uh, if they moved the rudder stick to the right was causing the the right elevator to go up and the left, of, left one to go down and and uh, to me that sounds right but they, they were like okay you know that's backwards so how, how can I fix that but they, they were like also how can I ch uh, you know I don't want this to be an elevator I mean a, a rudder so how can I make it so that moving the rudder stick doesn't do anything well um, I, I, you know, this is a little bit of a mess, and, and it's, a, it's a mess because you told the transmitter that you have a V-tail, and the bottom line is you don't have a V-tail in the airplane. So, so it, it, whatever you do is going to be a little bit messed up. I think by far the easiest way to do uh, what, they, what they really wanted to do, which is just have two servos on each side of the elevator, is to just use like a wire harness. And, and plug both of the servos into the same elevator channel and that's by far the easiest solution and you know sometimes we get caught up thinking that it's a complex problem when it really isn't um, and um, you know if if, if that, that for some reason that won't, you know there's some problems with that maybe you need to be able to center each one separately or, or, or something then I, I think the, the better solution if you want to use transmitted programming is to plug in the second elevator servo into an auxiliary channel and then use a programmable mix to drive that second servo from the elevator and that's relatively straightforward and that, that would have worked also but assuming they don't want to do either, either of those solutions then, uh, then they have a couple of, uh, couple of suggestions you know, to, to get the, the rotor action to work the way that they want just unplug both of the servos and reverse where they're plugged into you know one of them is elevated the other one is rotated so just reverse them and that would have fixed uh, the reversal that they're seeing on the rudder which, which I don't know if it's valid you know if it's really reversed or not but you know maybe there was a typo in the email and um, and then the other problem that they're having is that they just want to zero out that rudder action you know they, if they move the rudder stick by mistake they don't want to see anything happen and there's multiple ways of doing it, but again, it's pointing back to you're kind of forcing it, you know, it's forcing a, a, a square peg into a round hole. It's just not really what it wants to do. But you can s change the um, travel adjustment on the rudder channel, or you can change the, um, you know, the exponential to zero or travel adjustment to zero or change the rate, you know, with, with dual rate, just set it to zero. So bottom line is you want to have zero action on there and there's multiple, multiple ways of doing it. And uh, till next time.